What's going on, folks? Um, first, I'm gross and sticky. It's super muggy outside, and I was just there for a long time, so excuse that. So is my house, but that's not because of the weather. Nevertheless, so I'm outside earlier today at the park. I'm flying my drone. I have a Tiny Hawk 3, and uh, everything's going fine initially, and after, I don't know, I think I was on my third pack, so maybe like not even 20 minutes into total flight time. Suddenly it's, uh, it starts spinning all crazy on the yaw axis. And so I bring it to the ground and when I try to relaunch, well, I unplug the battery, plug it back in, turn off the controller, turn it back on. And when I try to relaunch, it just spins on the yaw axis and kind of flips itself over and then it automatically shuts off. And I couldn't get it to do anything else. So I start Googling around while I'm there at the park and most of the, like the troubleshooting answers I'm seeing are like, make sure you have the props on in the right orientation or uh, make sure you're not in turtle mode, uh, things like that, which I didn't change any of that. So it couldn't have been that. And I'm even looking at the props themselves and they're a little dinged up, but flyable. They're definitely flyable. So after looking around online and not finding a whole lot that was at all helpful, I decided to come home, put it in beta flight, and see what's going on there. So I do that, and what I'm seeing is the same thing. When I have the drone plugged into the beta flight on the little like graphic that shows you what your controller's doing, it was spinning on the yaw axis, like full throttle, full yaw to one direction, I can't remember. And there's no fixing it. No, like I recalibrated the controller, I reset the flight board or whatever. I don't know a whole lot about drones, um, but yeah, I set everything essentially back to neutral or whatever, factory reset. <clears throat> Same problem, nothing seemed to fix it. So I'm Googling for like two hours, I Googled around before I decided to finally open up the controller. And here's what I found. This is what the issue is. Let me switch over. So here's what I saw uh, when I opened up the controller. If you look at this white wire and where it's connected, you see that it kind of looks burned there now. Can we zoom on that? Oh God. Yeah that little burned looking section. So that's where it's supposed to be connected. I think it is now. I might have loosened it. So yeah, it's connected now. But you also notice the wires next to it are kind of like glued on with that yellow glue as many of the wires are. Um, that is because I guess Emacs, that's how they send them from the factory with really just a bit of glue holding the wires on. So what happened was that white wire had become disconnected and as it so happens, that wire is the one that corresponds to y'all. So when it became disconnected, I guess the uh, flight controller or whatever didn't know what to do, so it was just going wild. That's really what the issue was. So if you have one of these Emacs E8 controllers, uh, know that these wires are thin little tiny baby wires and they're barely connected to anything. So if you're having issues, it could very well be that. That being said, I went out to Home Depot, paid like $100 and got like a soldering kit, a little extra solder and one of those little clamp thingies to hold the wires for you. And as you can see, I did an abysmal job, but I did manage to reconnect the wire to where it's supposed to go, uh, albeit a bit sloppy. Do I know anything about soldering now? That was, that was my first attempt right there. Um, but I did get it to reconnect and I tested it with the drone. It's working fine. Um, so if you're having issues, it could be that. Now I have a video of what it looked like in beta flight when it was going all crazy on the yaw axis that I'll put in here. Um, but yeah, just as a general tip, if you're having issues that seem like that, maybe your roll's going crazy or your pitch is going crazy or your throttle's going crazy and you have no control over that, open up your controller and take a look at what the wires are doing. It could very well, very well be that. So. Hope this helps somebody out. Deuces.